Um, so what got you into this? You know, what, what's your background and what, what drew you to this whole very obvious eco-friendly merchandise? Well, I, I started sewing when I was 15. I went to Catholic school, so I wore a uniform all the time. <laughs> and I, I, don't, I didn't consider myself an artist at that point because I was very young, but it's like very obvious looking back that I was. Um, so I really wanted to wear unique clothes when I wasn't wearing my uniform. Right. And I went to Catholic school through grade school and high school, so oh. I was always wearing a uniform. And it was like, when I'm not wearing a uniform, I want to wear something cool. Right. Um, so I got a sewing machine for my 15th birthday, and then my first job when I was 16 was at a fabric store. And I was like, well, I want to make my own clothes. And fabric is really expensive, and most of it's super ugly. So um, I'd already been shopping at thrift stores for my own clothing. Yeah. Um, and I liked vintage even back then. And sometimes I would get like really huge dresses and just make them fit me. And then when I was cutting apart, it must have been like a shirt or a dress one day, I was cutting apart this fabric and I'm like, this is just fabric. You know, once you take a piece of clothing apart, like it goes back to its raw material. Right. And uh, once I did that, um, I kind of looked at clothing, like constructed clothing in a whole new way. Even today when I look at people's shirts, I'm like, that would be a great tie. Yeah. But so I started making my own clothing from like um, old t-shirts and things like that. And I'd been doing that for 10 years and I was actually calling it A&D as well and it was all women's. Mm -hmm. um, and I did it off and on. And then um, when I graduated college last, or yeah, last May, um, I got back into it because I had a little sewing studio. And one of my friends from college who worked at a suit shop, he saw my clothes and he really wanted to support what I was doing and really liked my designs. But I only made women's things. So he yeah. was like, he asked me to make a neckties. And I thought it was going to be super easy. I was like, oh yeah, sure, a piece of fabric, yeah. I, no problem. And Straight. Yeah, a little, sure. a little curve on the bottom, like right. we got this. Um, but I, and I've never really followed, followed a pattern what I, I'm used to doing is taking apart clothes, figuring out how they're put together, and making a pattern from it. So I yeah. went to the thrift store, I got a tie, I cut it apart, and I kind of took a step back, and I'm like, what is this? Right. Why is this so complicated? Um, and I was really amazed by how complex they actually are, yeah. and then I just used an old tie as a pattern, and that's why I was started using the lining, too, because when I took apart the tie, I realized, like, well, this is a very particular kind of material. And I was like, well, why can't I just reuse it? Like, why can't I reuse this material instead of going and finding new material? Right. Um, and, and it surely saves you a lot of money. Yeah, it really does. And then yeah. I'm able to pass those savings on to my customers, too. Right. Which is something I'm very conscientious because of. Because if you were making custom, one-of-a-kind neckties with all new materials, yeah. it would be yeah, it would not surely be. higher. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah.